welcome back to a new video. So as you've just seen, I've just done a nice workout this morning. I thought I'd just have a nice like lie-in for a Saturday. I think we woke up about, I think it was like just after nine. I didn't actually get to bed till about, about half 10 with Hugo because you know what he's like. He loves to lie in. So I've just literally done a workout this morning and honestly trying to do a workout with Hugo. It's just a workout in itself. So I've just washed my hair. I thought sort I'd of talk you through some new products that I've been using. Um, if you guys follow me over on my Instagram as well, you would have seen that I worked on a campaign with Very with their new launch of the Dyson Supersonic Hair Dryer on the Very website. So of course it was sponsored over on Instagram, but it's not sponsored over here. But, but I thought I'd do a quick run through on the Dyson Supersonic Hair Dryer, how I'm finding it. I'm honestly absolutely loving it. I've been using it for about three weeks now. So I thought I'd do like a first impressions and just sort of talk you through it and show some products I've been using as well. And if you guys then want to see a review um, of me using the products like after so many months or whatnot, then I can do that for you. So let me know in the comments below. Yeah, I always use, I think I showed you guys this before, but it's the um, Red Chem One United. It's my honestly go-to for literally putting on my hair once it's wet. Um, it's a all-in-one hair treatment. It's a heat protectant. It's a multi-benefit. I've been using it for, God, years. So it's got 25 benefits in it. So I will link it below for you as well. I've also been using some hair products for obviously my blonde hair. And obviously during lockdown and obviously my roots are so bad. And me being the like ash blonde colour that I am, Am. It is like quite hard to keep my hair looking fresh and I know some of you as well are like blonde but your hair can go like really brassy when you don't have your nice regular hair appointments like sometimes it's nice to go in just to have a nice toner on as well just to like freshen up your hair but I've been using some new products from a brand called um, Kerastar which I have here. So I've been trying out Kerastar's Blonde Absolute range. The Priority team kindly sent me these to try out and honestly they are, I've tried a lot of hair products like silver shampoos, like purple shampoos, I've honestly tried the works, like I've tried loads and this by far is definitely the best I've ever used. This, this is the Kerastase Blonde Absolute, there's a shampoo here and there's also this hair mask which I've been loving, I've literally been doing this like once a week and it's honestly freshened up my hair like so lovely and um, they're honestly really good products and they don't leave your hair feeling dry because like I found like with some purple shampoos that I've tried in the past make my hair just feel so like dry and brittle but these really do like get the moisture into your hair they're an anti-brass purple shampoo and obviously a deep mask as well which is honestly so good so we'll link those below for you they also have some serums as well in this range so there's the seeker extreme serum here and there's also this one as well which is a leave-in treatment which i'm going to apply now so again this is a multi-benefit leave-in treatment so i'm going to just put a couple of pumps into my hand and run it through my hair you guys know how much i love a leave-in treatment they are honestly my favorite so actually you guys gonna come in now you're gonna come in i mean excuse the mess out there i've got my rail that i need to tidy up from this week i've honestly been so busy um so that new in rail that i normally have in my dressing room i haven't brought it in here because i'm like it's nice and spacious in here i don't want to bring that rail in here and what's just like that rail needs to go off the landing there you've got room so i'm like mm, okay they just sort of comb it through as well i mean how cute and how lovely is this comb it was sent with those products and I'm honestly so obsessed. I really love like the shell effect. I've also cleansed my face, but I haven't done in my skincare. So if you go down here, can you see his ears? He he loves my new dressing room stall, but he gets so annoyed because he can't sit up here with me now. Um, because before on my old dressing room like table chair, he would literally just curl up next to me while I was getting ready, and he gets really really annoyed now because he can't sit with me. So I do feel quite bad for him. But that's just Hugo being clingy. So yeah, like I was saying, I have just literally just cleansed my face, and I've been using some new products from a brand called Face Theory. So again, I worked on a campaign with him over on Instagram, but of course this isn't sponsored for my YouTube as well. But I thought I'd show you some products I've been loving using. So I've been using this every morning. It's a vitamin C creamy cleanser, and honestly this brand is so lovely they're all like cruelty free and um, everything is all natural ingredients as well and um, it's also really reasonably priced as well it's not really expensive and I really love the packaging of course it's all recyclable and it's honestly a lovely brand they did like a little skin package for me so I let them know what my skin needs were and they literally picked some products out which is really nice so I'm gonna be using this so I've been using this in the morning now so before on the evening times I use my Ren 
um, toner you guys know that I love. And I've been using this in the morning. So this is the Green Sea Rebalancing Toner. It's really nice and light on your face in the morning. Again, all these products as well aren't scented either, but they are quite strong. So you only need a small bit of it. So I've been using this in the morning time just because it's like really nice and soft on my skin. And this is a really lovely product as well to use in the morning time. So it has some really good ingredients in here as well. And it's for all skin times. So it's got a gentle pH balanced toner with aloe vera, green tea, chamomile, pomegranate and vitamin C. So lots of really good ingredients in there. Um, and then I'm going to go in with my eye cream. I've actually forgot to apply my eye cream first. So I'm still using this. This is the vitamin C eye cream, the eye souffle by Rodeal Beauty. And it's my favourite. I really love it. I've actually used quite a bit of it already. But you only need like a small bit of it. But it's honestly been one of my favourite eye creams. I've literally stuck with it since like the last vlog I think I showed you when I was doing my skincare. I really love it. It's really nice and brightening. Like again, I love anything that's got vitamin C in it. And again, it works really nicely with this vitamin C cleanser. So obviously I do vitamin C in the morning times to brighten up my skin and then go in with a nice brightening eye cream as well. Then on to serum. So I've been using some new products by Nivea. So this is their new Cellia range. This is to help like pigmentation in your skin and if you have any dark spots. So I think I've said to you guys before when I was using the Uricin products, I have like some dark spots and uneven pigmentation. So this is really good for that. It's an advanced treatment. So I've been trying this. This is the anti dark spot box serum so I've been applying this every morning and night time and then I've also got a day cream or like a day fluid it's called as well to apply so I'm going to apply this honestly it goes on really nicely I think Nivea is like such a good skincare brand I think it's like one of everyone's favorite brands like I always get Nivea when it comes to like my sun cream I mean of course when we can eventually um go on holiday and talking of holidays I thought I'd do like a little like life update as well in this video because we obviously we had um, a lay booked for May this year. It was originally for um, Russie's birthday last year, and obviously we couldn't go. It was his thirtieth, and we were locked in, and same old, same old. Um, so we moved it to this May, and then we were just like, we just don't think it's going to be realistic, and we want to go to LA for the first time and just get the full experience like it's expensive like we've paid quite a lot of money to go and we want to get the full like LA experience so we've decided to move it now to next year so we're going to LA in 2022 um which I'm obviously gutted about but I know it's gonna be better in the long run like when it comes to like everyone's like vaccinations and whatnot we don't know when we're getting our vaccinations and again with America as well I don't know how they're getting on with all their vaccinations and stuff. So yeah, it's just been like one of them really. And then, so yeah, we've moved that. And then we've also decided to push back our wedding another year, which again, I am absolutely gutted about, but also quite relieved at the same time. So we we're, were meant to be getting married like next year, March next year. And at the moment, like I was just getting really stressed to Russ because he was like, it's next year, we'll be fine. I was like, I know, but we need to start planning a wedding. Like you ca we can't plan nothing at the moment. Like we can't plan like hen do's, stag do's. Like we've booked the venue, secured that. I can't go and get my wedding dress or go to fittings or like I can't do all the normal things that you do like planning for a wedding. Like even like going on trying like dresses and having lunch with my family and like friends. I can't do any of that. So I was just like, let's just push it another year Back. so we're getting married in March 2023 now so it does feel quite a long time away but I honestly feel like it's such a massive wait because I didn't want to start planning anymore sending out invites and then we also want more of a normal wedding as well like I just don't want a wedding where like looking back on photos and people can't stand together or everyone's sitting on like separate tables and no one can just be normal and just it's just not what I want for our wedding day. And again, we've got people wearing masks and we're going to have photographers. We want videographers. And I just don't want to look back on our wedding day in you know, no, 10 years time or showing our children our wedding pictures and then our kids asking like, mom, dad, why, why has everyone got masks on? Why aren't you like hugging each other or why aren't like you found why it's just so i think we're living in such a like surreal weird time and we'll look back on this in like so many years and be like oh my god as if we lived through that like that is so like weird like we can't believe we actually did that and um, i just don't want to look back at my wedding photos and be like yeah covid i just don't want that um so yeah fingers crossed 2023 is all okay and it's a bit more normal and i do feel like it's a massive weight now i'm not gonna worry about like trying to plan things i've already got quite a lot going on as well with my work life so i'm just like planning the wedding 
during COVID is just not realistic. And it's basically just going to take the fun out of planning our wedding day. So yeah, that is a little like a life update from us. Yeah, back to my hair. So I've done all my skincare now. I've just literally left that one cream to soak in, and then I might just put on my Elemis um marine cream on after i'm just gonna let it all soak in whilst i do my hair so the dyson supersonic so i have the hair dryer just down here and oh my god i am obsessed like it's honestly like so good it's so so powerful so when i first start drying my hair i literally just leave the nozzle off this bit here is magnetic so so if you guys follow me over on my instagram you would have seen me working on a campaign with very like showing all these features but look at this i mean it's just like you can twist it really easily it's honestly like so good it's also got four precise heat settings as well including a cool shot there's also three different fan speeds um again the the main thing with this um, hair dryer is because it's so powerful the motor's actually down here so as you can see this brings like all the air and then it circulates and like honestly it's such amazing technology you also have to clean this quite regularly like it honestly picks up because it like sucks it's like getting all the air so it's literally crazy how much it picks up so i'm gonna literally just blast my hair off so i normally just do this with no nozzle on and blast it off so as you can hear very powerful that's the highest fan but really look at it it's literally if i do this and then turn it on you'll see it move it's honestly i'm seeing you can see from the bottom ready it's so powerful so i don't have it on like really high but i literally just blast my hair off look how much that is it's just blasting my hair off so quickly it dries my hair like so so fast so before i go in with the other bits i thought i'd just show you um the nozzle so this is the one that i'm going to use it's literally just the smoothing nozzle if i like style my hair and want to do an actual blow dry like literally use my rain brush i use this one this is the styling concentrator nozzle so again you can see it's more thinner so the air is like more precise when you're styling and then there's also this attachment here which is exclusive to dyson so this is the um, gentle air attachment so as you can see it has these like little funny shapes on and this is like a gentle air attachment so this like really softens the air and say if your like scalp is really sensitive like to the heat and whatnot this sort of like makes the air go out really soft i've actually been using this air attachment to blow dry hugo because he hated my other hair dryer it was too powerful for him but when i put this on and put it on cool he's like oh my god he loves it um so again a very spoiled boy there's also this one as well which it comes with you'll see if you've got curly hair but you can also create curls with your hair as well with this i've saw like videos on dyson's like youtube and you literally just like sort of wrap your hair like that and put it in and then do that and then just dry it and then cool shot it and then let it go so that is another feature as well you can use with that but i'm literally just gonna i'm not gonna style my hair like i'm just gonna literally just blow dry it today um so i'm just gonna use this tool here which is the normal smoothing one but honestly like it's such an amazing bit of technology my hair all dry now and it honestly feels like so so smooth it also feels really lovely and refreshed as well after using these lovely products from by Kerastars. um again obviously my roots are really dark they are quite bad and i'm sure everyone is in the same boat but i feel like these products really do freshen up my blondes like with my hair as well i've said before that i want to film a hair video about all the products that i use but i'm going to wait till obviously the hairdressers open back up and my hair is looking it's normal self like it's all nice and like cut um, it's nice and fresh with my ash blondes i think i'm going to wait and do a video then but obviously during lockdown as well is a good time for me to try out loads of products and um, share with you guys as well all my favorite shampoos that i use for my hair so i will be filming that video i just want to wait till my hair is looking nice for that video so yeah really love that hair dryer so far it's definitely a lot better for my hair like i feel like my hair feels really smooth and it makes it feel like it's in really good condition as well so that is the hair dryer i'm going to just put on like obviously this weekend is valentine's weekend and like me and Russell, like what should we do so tonight we're having a takeaway courtesy of zizi's so i think the last few vlogs me and Russell have been demolishing nando's and we've always said that we fancied a zizi so like all we do is go for a walk walk the dog sit and watch films and have takeaways like that is literally all we do and i don't know me and Russell aren't really like overly fussed about valentine's like it got me a car downstairs and a nice bunch of flowers but we don't really like 
I don't know. I feel like me and Russ, like, Russ always used to say that he liked to surprise me, like, randomly. So just doing it because it's Valentine's. Um, so yeah, we're going to have a takeaway tonight, which is courtesy of Zizi. So the PR team at Zizi has kind of got in touch with me and says that they've got a Valentine's menu. We'll be like a takeaway. And we're like, oh my God, yes. So we're going to pick that up later on. I think we've got to pick up about seven. So of course, we'll show you what we get from Zizi's. But Russ is just at the gym now doing his like gym checks, his work checks. Um, so yeah, like even like today, I was like, do I like get dressed today? But I've actually had such a long, busy week. And now I'm like... I don't want to put any makeup on. Like I was gonna think should I put some makeup on for this video, but I'm actually gonna film a like everyday makeup routine in a separate video as well. So as soon as that is live, I will link it above for you because I know a few of you have been asking me um, what makeup products I've been using, what's my everyday makeup routine. So I thought I'd film a whole separate video on that. So do keep an eye out for that soon. So for today, we're going minimal, like no makeup look basically. You would have seen on last week's video that my dressing table drawer is the next thing that desperately needs sorting out obviously when my new dresser arrives um so yeah that is the next like sort out task for me so i'm sure i'll be documenting that with you as well i think i need to do let me use the crayons actually because i have these crayons but i don't know where i mean this drawer is just an absolute minefield um i need to find my sharpener so I can use this, because I, oh I found it now, because I want to use, instead of using the CC cream, I want to use the BB cream and the BB crayon to show you. So let's go in with my favourite Arborian products. So again, you would have seen this before, this is the Glow Cream, I love this, it's one of my favourite creams. Again, it's really nourishing, really hydrating, and it's really great to put under your skin as a base layer for um putting like a no makeup makeup look basically then i'll go in with the bb cream again in the shade claire this is actually if i squirt it out is colored so as you can see the cc creams are like white with like little beads in but the bb cream is actually like a foundation um color but honestly i adore these products they literally just blend so lovely on my skin they're also launching like lots of new products as well this year i just think if you haven't tried a boring skincare they sell it on look fantastic like there's so many discount codes as well for look fantastic so that's where i get a lot of my like beauty top ups i think during knockdown as well i've literally bought even during Black Friday as well, I literally got so many products from Look Fantastic. Do, so do keep an eye out for some sort of discount code, but a boring skincare, honestly. I honestly couldn't recommend it enough. It's such a lovely brand. So I'm going to try and blend that in. Let me just go and grab my mirror. I'm trying to use the camera screen to blend this in, but I feel like I'm not blending it in properly. So let me just grab my mirror. That's better. I can see it better now. I can see what I'm blending and what I'm doing. Let's just apply it a bit more on. Just these products are so lovely for a no makeup makeup day. Um, but it just gives you a bit of something on your skin so you have a bit of coverage. You don't look like, it just evens out your skin tone. It literally looks like you're not wearing any makeup, but they're honestly so lovely. So I'm not sure tomorrow if I'm going to get dressed up and make an effort. I'm not sort of sure yet, because obviously tomorrow's Valentine's. We're having sort of like a Valentine's day, like today and like vlogging. Um, so obviously I'll show you our takeaway and stuff and I've also got a amazing PR box to show you guys as well so if you guys follow me on my Instagram you would have seen that um, Pandora had sent me a like Valentine's like present like gift box and oh my god the box is ginormous so I've got it downstairs with all the balloons and everything so I thought I'd show you that as well It'd be nice to include it in this week's vlog so yeah I will show you that as well um, I've also got the biggest like spot on my head. I literally never get spots, but then I'll just get one mega angry one. I think last week I had a really angry one on my cheek here that literally come up from nowhere. I don't know what where it come from. And then this week I've got one right on my forehead. So yeah, I don't know where that had come from. So that is that all rubbed in, so making sure I've blended it all in properly. As well, like, tomorrow night I'm going to have a bath and like scrub my skin and put some nice like tan on, have a bit of a pamper day. So me and Russell wanna have a sort of like social free day, like I think just chill, maybe go for a walk. I mean, surprise, surprise, go for a walk. But I just wanna have a nice social free weekend because I find that I'm just doing the job that I do um it is like quite like a lot like so like being on socials all the time. Sorry, this doesn't fit in my freaking sharpener. So I'm gonna see if I can go in with another another colour. Um I think this colour should be fine actually. And let's just roll with this one. Um, so yeah, I just feel like I need a bit of a social free weekend. So I didn't have a new YouTube video go live on Sunday, so that is why. Um, because I feel like on a Sunday I'm always getting up to like post and then share my video and I just want to have like a time off my phone this weekend. So Hugo's come back in now. You're gonna come back in? Hello. 
he's come back in but as you can see here I've literally just done that and these blend so so lovely so I'm literally just going to go over any blemishes I use these as well as a concealer, but honestly, hello monkey. I know you're really annoyed because you can't get on the chair. I'm nearly done now. He's very sulky and very needy at the moment, so needy. So then these just blend in really, really nice on your skin. Like These are definitely one of my favourite products from Arborean. Like they just blend like so nicely and they work so well with the BB cream. So as you can see there, that just blends in really nicely under my eyes. I also as well put it on my eyelids because like I say, my eyelids are quite like veiny and always go quite purpley. Um, I need to do that one actually as well. But yeah, they blend really lovely and having that glow cream underneath as well just gives you that little bit of a glow, which is really, really nice. So yeah, that is that all blended in. I'm going to apply this by Rapid Lash. So I've been using this in the daytime. So this is the Rapid Brow, but I have been using, I've raved about this on my Instagram. So one of you guys recommended a castor oil and oh my God, such a difference in my eyebrows. I can't believe it. Obviously if I brush them all now, I'll show you. But this is by a brand called, this is the Jamaican Black castor oil it's an eyelash and eyebrow serum i got it in a birch box and oh my god it's amazing like it comes with the little mascara ones as well i've been applying it every single night now and notice such a difference in my eyebrows like when i'm penciling them my hair feels a lot thicker feels longer even when i'm applying my mascara as well it literally they literally feel so much like longer so yeah i'm really excited to keep using that because this is a three month supply um but yeah i just use it every single night but in the daytime i do a no makeup look i'm going to just literally use the rapid brow this is a enhancing serum so i'm going to just brush my eyebrows up with this serum just because i'm at home Ooh. sorry hugo can you hear him sulking oh my god you're so needy just do my brows he's going to try and you can well, just give me two let me do this and you can come and sit on my lap a sec he just wants me to sit down and have a cuddle honestly but yeah, look, honestly, I've never had eyebrows like this. Couldn't recommend that enough, so we'll link it below for you as always. I'm going to go in with the eyelash, um, where is it now? I've got an eyelash daily conditioner as well. So I'm going to apply that as well. You would have seen this before. So I'm going to just apply this out. Here you go. He's scratching me. Yeah. You and that little paw. Do you want to come and sit on here then? There's not really much room because of the new chair. Yeah. Oh my God. Don't, I've just done my face. He's literally like a little baby. I've just done my... Look at him sit. He's sitting like a little human. This is, this is all he wants. He just wants to be with me all the time. Right, get your nose out of there now. Sit down. Sit down a sec. Oh, his claws are so sharp. Sit down. Good boy. Let me do this then. There we go. He honestly hates his new dressing room stool because he can't sit up here with me like he used to. You don't like the new table downstairs, do you? I mean the bench. We've actually got a really nice um, throw for the bench now um, from Donnell, the sheepskin one, so I'll show you that as well. He actually likes lying on that now, so before he couldn't jump on it because he would just slide straight off and he hated it. Um, but now we've got the nice sheepskin throw on it, he loves it. So I'm just gonna apply it to some lip balm as well. I've had this one for ages. It's from a brand called Declaw. I think again, I got it in a birch box or a beauty box but I've been using it it's really like hydrating on my lips my lips are honestly so sore at the moment like really really sore and I use this every single day like and they're still sore <laughs> so yeah any recommendations for a good lip balm like I use Vaseline um I use quite a few but honestly it's just like here's always really sore and then like at the bottom so I feel like I need to try and exfoliate my lips more, but then I don't want to make them sore by over exfoliating them. I know. You love... Honestly, I can't do anything. It, you don't eat it. And then let's put on my balm. Should we put on one of my favourite balms? Oh, he's bored. So again, this is a NARS. This is the Orgasm Balm, which I love. Let's put a bit of balm on. Give me a bit of something on my lips. I feel like this is my standard at home little routine. 
I was going to put some blusher on, but I'm just going to leave the BB creams on and the BB crowns. So I haven't had any... Do you eat your breakfast? Did you eat your breakfast? You're not hungry? Would you like some eggs? I'm going to cook some, because I think it's about 12 o'clock now. Like I had got up, did a workout, had the shake, but I've not actually eaten a like, decent meal. Um, so let's make some lunch. I'm thinking we've got some sourdough bread that needs using. I really want to learn how to do poached eggs, but I feel like it's just going to be a disaster. So I might just do like scrambled eggs with avocado on sourdough bread. So should we go and make some breakfast? so warm honestly pushing that shark hoover around it's honestly so so good i mean it's like since having that shark hoover especially like with hugo's hair everywhere as well it literally like hoovers everything i absolutely love it um i also need to obviously strip the bed off wash the bed in um, i need to clean the ensuite in the bathroom upstairs and have a tidy up upstairs as well um, so today is definitely a Saturday spring clean. And before I do any more cleaning around the house, I thought I'd show you this gigantic box that's just behind me. So this came last week from the Pandora PR team. So this was a Galentine's gift. And oh my God, look at the size of the box. When the delivery guy dropped it off, he literally was at the door and was like, happy Valentine's. And I was like, oh my God, that is crazy. But we had to sort of like lift it up high to get it into the house because our hallway and front door is quite narrow. And we've got a radiator cover on the wall. So obviously we had to lift it up and over that and then put it into the living room. So I thought I'd quickly show you what's inside because it is an amazing Valentine's gift. So I just popped you on the TV unit. Hugo's just lying there and as soon as it come, you'll see in a sec, he literally started going crazy. So let's open. You remember Hugo? <gasps> so we have balloons in size. I mean, you can't even see me now. It's honestly such a surprise gift. The box is absolutely massive. So there's a box inside here as well. So I'll show you that separately. But look how lovely these balloons are. Honestly, it's such an amazing box. I could literally like fit in this box myself. Like look how big it is. It's literally massive. He goes like, what are you doing? You can't do that. So the balloons are attached to this box. Let me bring it over. I'm going to have to see it's a box just here as you can see from pandora the balloons are attached to the box so here's a better look at balloons and it's honestly such a lovely surprise so i'll show you what's inside of here now so this was a galentine's gift from pandora and mini bobby brown and i've honestly been spoiled as always pandora always do the best pr boxes so in here we have a lovely candle there's also a confetti cannon in here as well there's some chocolates in here from, oh, don't drop it. There's some chocolates in here from Hotel Chocolate, which look yummy. There's also a new necklace in here as well. 
well so I'll show you this so I have the matching bracelet to this and this is from Mini Bobby Brown's collection and how lovely is it I absolutely love this style like I wear my other bracelet like all the time so I'm really glad I got the matching necklace for it now so we've got that here I've also got a mocktail just here as well but it has got another layer so let me just lift this bit off right here you go leave the balloons are attached to there can you see he's literally like but how big is that box it's absolutely massive like when Russ come back from work he was like oh my god what is that box no here you go leave don't try and steal stuff be a good boy so then I've got a little note here as well from Pandora, which is so lovely from the PR team. There's also some skincare as well from Arborian in here. So there's a milk and peel mask, which I've used all the time. It's honestly one of my favorite masks. There's a pink primer and care, which is actually new to me. I haven't tried this before. So you guys know I love Arborian. Come out, monkey. And then we also got a shot mask here as well. So definitely a perfect like pamper weekend box. There's some sweets here from Candy Kittens. There's also a sleep eye mask as well from a brand called crazy so it was such a lovely surprise Hugo don't eat that monkey he's trying to eat the can you see him he's trying to eat the string as always but it was honestly such a lovely surprise that when it comes to the front door I was just like oh my god it really made my week so yeah when it arrived I was literally like so blown away like you guys know how much I love Pandora and it was such a lovely treat from the PR team like I honestly feel so grateful and like she like loved my job so much and be able to like connect with brands like this and receive these amazing PR boxes honestly just makes me feel so lucky and so grateful and thankful for all you guys as well who follow me over on my Instagram and also to you guys that watch my YouTube videos as well it's honestly like I'm really doing my dream job like I've always wanted to do this job like you do put in a lot of hard work like I honestly work so so hard and this is honestly such a nice treat as well it really did pick me up like as soon as it came I had a massive smile on my face and it honestly made my week so thank you so much so guys at Pandora for this lovely surprise it was honestly so so lovely so we're gonna see how long these balloons last now Hugo's like I want those balloons do you want the balloons so I have some new in pieces on here from the HMPR team. It's just these loungewear sets. I thought I'd quickly just try them on for you. Um, obviously ignore that in there. They're like clothes to put on deeper. Um, I've also got some bits that I bought myself from Zara. So I haven't actually showed um, any bits from Zara yet this year. I am going to do a Zara haul, but I only picked up these couple of pieces. So I picked up this really lovely striped jumper. And I also got this jumper as well with the zip on. If you guys follow me over on my Instagram, you would have seen me already post this. But it's honestly so, so soft and I really love this zip on here as well i also got this little cardigan as well from zara again i really love the cream sleeves and the buttons are really lovely it's a really nice like soft cardigan and then these bits here as well are from the h&m pr team there's some other bits on here and some other loungewear like sweatshirt stuff so i'll quickly try on these matching sets and show you so here is the first set on apologies if it's starting to look quite dark it's literally it's about half three i think and the light's already going but again these bottoms are really lovely sage green color and as you can see they are high waist and i love the flare leg i really love this hoodie as well it's from i can't say her name but again it's a new collection which is just launched it has all these lovely little quotes on again i really love the color of this i think this hoodie as well was super cheap i think either the hoodie was like 12.99 or i think it was the hoodie that was 17 and the bottoms were 12.99 but again they're the same fit as my other ones they're honestly like so so comfy and really really soft so i'm wearing a size small in both of these and they fit me absolutely fine so again a lovely loungewear set to wear around the house i've also already shot these already wearing my new like Vasia trainers and a long coat and a beanie so you will see that over on my instagram very very soon it's definitely a loungewear set that i can take out of the house as well it's also so so soft and lovely so that's the first one then here is the other set as you can see it's a really lovely again nice cream and buttermilk color so it has a sweatshirt and matching shorts this is like really really oversized as well i'm wearing a size small in this and also a size small in the bottoms as well but again you can totally adjust these as well they have like a drawstring like on the inside and um, i also need to tan i look so so pale but these bottoms have pockets in they also did this set in other colors as well i'm sure they do this in the mint green color i've also got the sage green color in this sweatshirt as well separately Again, this one has some quotes on here as well and i really love the color it's really really lovely again this is a really nice set as well that i could totally wear like literally with some nice socks and like with some like trainers and whatnot for obviously the springtime but obviously for wearing the house as well with my long
long socks and my slippers and um, this set is really nice so again I will link it just below I'm sure this was again was really really cheap it's also really nice quality as well both these sets feel really nice and soft but I just really love the colour of these I mean I've honestly got so much loungewear like I have so much like when I sorted my wardrobe out I was like I can't believe how much loungewear that I have now and I've also got these new additions as well to go into my wardrobe which are kindly sent from the HMPR team so yeah again I'll link this set and the other one below for you and there's also these two pieces as well so here I'm wearing the sweatshirt that I just mentioned in the lovely like sage green colour I feel like this is slightly more of a darker green than the hoodie that I just showed you the hoodie that I just showed you is more of like a grey like a hint of it this is definitely more of a sage green and then there's these bottoms as well they're like ribbed as you can see and they're like a wide leg these are also a really nice like khaki colour um, again really really comfortable they do these in lots of different colours as well so I just literally whacked on this together um, so you can sort of see like the two tones together so also in last week's vlog I mentioned about um, doing a order for us and ordering some bits from H&M and a lot of you guys really wanted to see a H&M like haul like me styling Russ over on my channel so he's just here now um, so he's got all most of his bits of a ride we're still waiting for some other bits to come yeah. out on me got jackets and stuff he's also ordered a couple of pairs of some jeans from River Island yeah. some nice cream jeans so we're going to do a haul just waiting for everything to arrive so I'm glad that you guys want to see that and style the world so he was trying on most of it wasn't new yesterday see if they all yeah. fit and everything was fine there's wasn't like it there's one pair of trays you'll see in the uh in the vlog but I've ordered a different colour in it because they look I don't know this is so nice looking at them they look, look better on in person than doing the website so yeah. it's good to actually see them on person in than just being like a model on the website if you get what I mean so like we did it on Klarna thinking oh yeah you can try it all on and see what fits what doesn't we can take stuff back and he loves all of it I think that's everything a danger fit, everything. everything fits doesn't it yeah, everything fits perfect. Literally, like, the trays are fit perfect. The jeans that we went for River Island, if the right size come in the jeans, we've ordered the two different sizes. Whatever goes, we've got there's two other colours in Washington, so we'll order them as well. Um, and have a complete wardrobe then really yeah literally so he's ordered a pair of like cream jeans which are a tapered fit so we've ordered a size like 34 and a 36 we're not sure Russ it depends on what like whether you get a skinny fit skin, a slim fit I can get away with a 34 sometimes a skinny fit I'll have a 36 but I've had 38 it's not I'm not a really big person it's just because no, it's just the way, yeah. and the way my, my, my waist and my bummies and to my legs and I lock, I've got I've got small calf spaces so it only likes to look tapered but only looking baggy like because a, a slim fit or a straight will look like a boot cut I think it is like with men's clothes as well like with men's clothes for it to look nice it has to be the right fit and look nice yeah. so like Russell normally has like different sizes and different things like some of the things we were ordering was XL and then some things were large weren't they it just depends on like some of the knit the jumpers you've got aren't they the jumpers there's, there's two there's three different style jumpers one's a large yeah and I'll show, I'll, when we do the when we do the haul we'll say this is the large and everyone's XL and you can see the difference one yeah. was like a slouchy fit um, the slim fits I always go up a size now just because my shoulders and stuff because it, it sounds daft as it looks like I'm just Doing this, yeah, there's like regular fits, slim fits. Obviously, the sizes are all different. So as soon as it all arrives, we will film a separate video and do a H and Man haul. So Please that'll be coming up soon. And comment below, like most of you've done already. It's like amazing to see that you actually want to see it as well. Yeah, so it's something different on my channel as well. So yeah, we'll definitely be doing that. So before Russ puts any of his new stuff in, he still needs to go through his wardrobe and just pull out what you don't like. Have yeah. a sort well, out. Well, as soon as we've done this, um, as soon as we've done the haul, we can actually strip everything back put all the new stuff in well yeah you can sort it all before though can't you he's yeah. just putting all his shoes that away now in the racking um and then he can just go through you know, everything I do like a chelsea boot yeah i literally. do like a chelsea boot i like other saw boots but i feel like a chelsea boot you keeping like, them in the box or are you getting rid of the box i'm gonna keep these because they're coming to so right, yeah, in the bags them. and do, the box i'll keep but i was gonna put these in stone because i can tuck them can you not store them in those up there no, because I've all got my summer, well, the last of my summer stuff I've got. Yeah, but we only jumpers. threw it in, didn't we? We literally could have, you could have rolled. Do you remember we just literally, when you sorted it out, we just threw it in, didn't we? Well, I'll, keep the I'll put the box at the side up there. I'm just thinking, if you, yeah, I'm just thinking if you're going to do that and keep the box, you might as well store them in the box and put them inside, uh, inside I'll there. I'll put them there then, so they're out there, yeah. Because then we only, we only literally just threw the bags in so we can roll it all up. Here you go, it's literally just like... And I've got the bottom flat sheet just drawing there. I've also got like, stuff I need to sort out for Depop. Um, that's a task to do this weekend. Um, but yeah, you're going to keep your Converse box or you're going to ditch it? No, it's just, just Converse, wasn't it? Yeah, if you keep them... Um, so they don't come in a dust bag or something, Converse. Once you all this, I wouldn't you. watch it doesn't scuff the ceiling because it's a blue box. Let's put them there for the minute and then get rid of that box. And then I'll just put... All these and the hair dryer, the hair dryer. Well, I need to make some space to sit and draw, so that's my next task. Yeah, he just needs to go through all his drawers and sort it all out. 
because stuff has only been roughly put in it's not been rolled because oh, with mine as you've seen on my last week's video i've like rolled everything and you do get so much more space like you normally fold stuff but even with your jeans if you roll them like roll them like front in half so then you can see the washes instead of folding so i feel like when you roll you just get loads well, as soon more as in like, so I, want, I like i'm the type of person that likes to like you've done me your massive wardrobe one I want to do when everything's done we've done the video I've got all my stuff out I can literally pull it all out do it all on the bed and then I can put it all back in together and the stuff if it nah. yeah that's fine but if there's stuff that you know that you can get rid of in there just like pull it well, out I've got most of it out there really because I need it's them shirts sorted. for work at the minute blue shirts it's going to so I've said too much to iron everything but like the new else stuff really, I've got nothing else really I can get rid of it. like I've sort of did, I did we did sort it all out so that's just the older winter stuff in there but now I've got the new jumpers I can get rid of some bits out of there that's the old summer stuff. Um, what I can put in as soon as it's all sorted kind of stuff. So same with gym stuff. I'm going to literally, um, gym clothes. I've got all my gym stuff I've had for a couple of years. So I'm going to probably get rid of that in the next few months. Yeah, just go through it all and just roll it up. Also, I did another little order the other day. Only a small one, but I got some other bits from obviously H&M as always. Um, I literally got myself this suit. I'm just going to get it all out and I'm going to see if it has the matching trousers. But it's the same sort of style to my really nice mint coloured one. It's honestly really lovely. Um, again, I will link it below for you. I also got like this knit as well. So I'll lay these all out in a second and show you them properly. I also got these shoes, which are like a really nice felt and obviously perfect for wearing around the house as well. Um, so I'll literally take all the packaging off and I'll quickly show you them. So I've just hung these new in pieces on my wardrobe door. So first we have like this blazer. So this is exactly the same style as that lovely sage green one from not last week's H&M haul. It was ever my last H&M haul. So I will link that with Buffy in case you haven't seen that. So it's exactly the same fit, but this one was cheaper. So the pale mint blazer was $34.99 and that one was $24.99. And I got the matching trousers, of course. I really love a nice suit. Um, these trousers are different to the other ones. They're wide leg at the bottom, but they've got the same fit at the top. So I'm going to try these on again another time and I will show you. Probably see them coming soon in a either way to wear video or a styling video. Um, but I really love this suit. It's so, so lovely. And I also got this, which I'm absolutely obsessed with. So it's a wool alpaca blend. I got it in a size small. It's a premium quality, but even feeling this now, I'm like, this is going to be too itchy. Um, I really love it because I really love the buttons and the collar. It honestly looks so so lovely so i definitely need to try this on so i'm not sure if i'm going to keep this because i don't know if it's gonna be really itchy but i just absolutely love it it's so so lovely so yeah love these new pieces again they're really great transitional pieces as well i'm just so ready for springtime i keep saying on my instagram that like even on my youtube videos for my hauls i'm literally so over the cold now i'm just really so ready to start dressing in nice transitional clothing of course i can't wear to like start wearing my suits and that again i know this suit looks so cool like with a t-shirt and my facial trainers I'm honestly so excited to start wearing these pieces they also have these new shoes as well to show you so these are honestly so nice they're really nice to wear around the house but as you can see they're like a nice like felt blend um i really love the gold little detail on here as well they're just so nice to wearing around the house so i just had to have these um you guys know what i'm like for my shoes i'm looking forward to getting all my spring or summer shoes back out um so yeah of course i'll link all these new bits below for you in the description as always so it's just gone half six and we're just gonna go and get our stuff to go and grab our ZZs. I'm honestly so so hungry. I feel like I've had a really nice like clean today. I'm finding that like during lockdown as well, like on a Saturday, I just sort of like like to have a nice clean, have a bit of a like reorganisation of things and a bit of a sort out like ready for the week. And then tomorrow's obviously Valentine's, so I feel like tomorrow I'm gonna have a day sort of off my phone and just probably go for a walk. And I don't know what we're gonna do for dinner actually. We've not actually planned what we're gonna do for Valentine's dinner. So we're gonna have the ZZs tonight. Go and and grab that so we're gonna put our shoes on and go and take Hugo in the car as well with us as always
the goods. They kindly give us some bottles of lemonade because the guy in there said to me that obviously before the announcement they had they ordered loads of Sprite and they all need using. Um, so obviously during the big announcement they'll see over ordered and then all this this would have been wasted. So he's given us four bottles of Sprite so we can make ourselves a nice gin and then everything is just all in this big one here so we've got everything out now so we always go for this garlic bread it's like a caramelized onion and cheesy flatbread and it's honestly so nice got some chips we've also got these pasta they're like pasta shaped crisps they're really really nice and we've got some calamari here to start as well and obviously russell's gone in with a big nice pizza this is from their valentine's menu as well and i've gone for a pasta dish which has got like chicken mushrooms and pancetta in it so yeah i'm gonna tuck into this now So we've got dessert, yeah. Hugo's still sitting. <laughs> you know, see, like he sits in between us, but he's so good. He does. He knows not to. Does he like the pizza because he had. That's what he's trying it. to get Russ's pizza. Yeah. But he likes sitting on here now because look at this nice stuff. I forgot to show you guys earlier. But he loves sitting on this now because it's really cozy and it's his bench now. So he likes to sit in between us. Um, yeah, I feel like I need a breather though. Are you really full? I'm just like full. So it's nice and we'll have the gin. We'll get everything cleared up, we'll sit in the full room, we'll have half now and then we'll have the puddings Then we'll have after. the puddings. So we're on to the desserts now. I've had the honeycomb cheesecake and Russ has got the salted, the caramel, salted caramel. caramel. It's caramel. your favourite, isn't it? Salted caramel brownie. Yeah, yeah he I always has this. Yeah. He loves his chocolate. We're just going to eat it out of here. He goes back again. Come on, you stop doing that now, monkey. You don't eat brownie. You don't, you, don't. you don't eat brownie. So we're going to tuck into this. So I'm going to end today's video there whilst we tuck in to our dessert. So if you have liked this video, then please make sure you give it a big thumbs up. And also make sure you subscribe so you don't miss Russ's H&M yep. haul and try on session. It will be coming soon. Just waiting for those last Show bits the to the arrive. Exactly. Beyonce's. <laughs> exactly. <Husbands>. So, <laughs> so as always, thank you so much for coming back to my channel and watch this video. So what you guys want to get in and I'll see you on the next one. See bye you guys, guys, bye. bye. bye.